All right, this is section 3.4, which is called zeros of polynomial functions. We're going to learn how to use the rational zero theorem to find rational zeros. Uh, we're going to find zeros of a polynomial function, solve polynomial equations, use the linear factorization theorem to find polynomials with given zeros, and use Descartes' rule of signs. Uh, basically what this section is, it's going to allow us to find zeros that we're not going to be able to find by factoring. So it's really going to open up some doors that were uh, previously not open for us. The first thing we're going to talk about is the rational zero theorem. And what the rational zero theorem is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to narrow down how we can find the possible rational zeros. So possible or potential, that doesn't mean that they're all going to be rational zero, or all going to be the rational zeros, but it's going to give us basically um, a group where we can pick from or hopefully narrow down our search because there are infinitely many numbers so we would like to try to narrow down our search a little bit. Rational of course means fraction so as you can see we're going to be dealing with fractions and the way you find the possible rational zeros it's going to be the factors of the constant remember the constant is the term without the variable over the factors of the leading coefficient. So just make sure when you're finding the leading coefficient that you're looking in the right place. It's the coefficient of the term with the highest degree. And just a little heads up, a factor is basically any number uh, that will divide evenly into another number. So keep that in mind as we're trying to use this. And here's our first example. It says list all possible rational zeros of f of x is equal to negative uh, x to the fourth plus 3x squared plus 4. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the uh, constant. So our constant in this problem is going to be 4. Okay. Now the factors of 4, so numbers that will divide evenly into 4, are 1, 2, and 4. So those are going to be our factors of 4 that we're going to use. Now the crazy part is, is these numbers could be positive or they could be negative. So that's going to open up some doors for us. Uh, and then what we have to do is we have to find the factors of the leading coefficient. So our leading coefficient in this problem is going to be negative 1. Good news is the factors of negative 1, well guess what, there's only 1. So it's either plus or minus 1. Well I guess 2 if you think about it that way. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find our uh, possible rational zeros. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the factors of the constant, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 4, over the factors of our leading coefficient. And what we're going to do is we're going to take every number that's in our denominator and divide it into every number that's in our numerator. So our possible rational zeros in this case will be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and plus or minus 4. There you go. Uh, we're going to look at probably another example where it might be a little bit more difficult. And then later on in this section, we're going to look about how we can use these possible rational zeros.